So not too far from the second accommodation that we were staying at, not too far from Braga also, one of our other favoured spots that we visited while we were up in the north, Barcelos. This having the plus point for me of having the river running through us, the views from the terraces if you like, or some of the historical ruins up on the on the river banks was unreal. It had a very similar feel to yeah, nice feel to it, Braga as well, about. didn't it? With like the, the squares and lo lots of little different streets and quaint restaurants, bars and cafes that you could go to. They actually had this, I don't know what the building was, I think it was a church, it had a display of roosters that you could mm. go in and you could see all these different roosters and then I, as you went to the top, they had a lookout point across the city and a really nice view from up there of the church and some garden, which we just kind of stumbled upon by chance actually. Yeah. The city's well known for the history of the rooster. It actually originated in Barcelos, that's where the store originated. Lovely gardens, views of the surrounding mountains. When you were driving into there, the, the area surrounding seemed beautiful, as did Braga. Yeah, just that, that whole area is a big plus for us, so well worth yeah. a bit visit to Barcelos. We are actually recommended that by Maria, where we were staying also. We were already going to go there, but Barcelos was somewhere that she did recommend, so yeah. Next up we headed further north to the Lima, the River Lima, and we headed to a few different places that are on the river. Mm. So first was Ponte de Lima, mm -hmm. um, which I think had been recommended to us. Yeah, by our landlady where we are living right here. Alexandra recommended Ponte de Lima, one of the most historical towns, would you call it, in, in Portugal, and a lot of history there. The bridge that goes over there is stone construction, it's beautiful, sits there nicely on the river and all the way along there's just restaurants, there's a nice little square, nice little streets running in behind with shops and cafes. We really liked it there. Yeah, it was nice. There had just been a festival or something, hadn't mm -hmm, there? Mm -hmm. um, Novas Ferias it's called, I think. That's one of the biggest festivals in Ponte Lima. Fortunately it was the weekend before and we missed it, but that would be worth catching if you can go there because the town itself was beautiful and that would be a nice event. Sticking to the Lima, the River Lima, we made our way along to the coast, Viana de Castolo. When I've been looking online, the weather, the temperature in Viana de Castolo was pretty perfect for us. It was a sort of not too high, average high temperatures and it didn't drop really low in the winter either. It wasn't our favourite place. It wasn't our favourite place. We wouldn't rush nice. to go back. It, it was, was a bit, bit vast. Yeah, and a bit industrial on the mm. on the river. There mm -hmm. was quite a lot of industrial. It wasn't mm -hmm. as pretty. But it did have some nice architecture and historic buildings and a good nice. place to stop if you want to go out to eat. Or nice cathedral on the hill. Like that. And yeah, the cathedral the, on the hill is stunning. The view That's over the bay. That's worth going up to see. And then you've obviously got the the plus side of it being on the course. We could see the kite surfers and the surfers down by the, the beaches. So if you want to be by the course, it is quite a nice spot by the course, but I think we pr prefer Porto for that, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, that was Viana de Castolo. Also on the Lima further inland is Ponte de Barca. We headed here. It's a very small kind of little town. It's got some nice buildings, but not not a lot there. Nice for maybe a, a stop for a coffee or something mm. if you're heading towards the national park. If you're passing it. Yeah. It had a nice riverside to walk by the river. If you live nearby, it'd be nice to take the dog down by the river. We were heading up that way anyway towards our favourite place of the trip, which was the national park. I don't know mm -hmm. how to pronounce It's something like Gerez. Venida Gerez. Something like that. We'll go with that. We'll put it here so you can see. <laughs> yeah, but the national park was absolutely fantastic. Oh, That's stunning. Just driving through some of the views, it's got to be one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world anyway. But... We wish we had more time there, we only really had about half a day, so we just kind of picked things that were just on the outskirts of the national park, so we didn't have to drive right in. There's a little village called Sojao. Sojao. Not really sure how you pronounce it, but really quaint little village. So I had these granaries up on the hill, um, quite interesting actually aren't they, they're kind of, you see them about don't you, these wooden granaries where they used to dry the corn, the corn and things like this, but these corn, ones were actually wheat. made, cereals basically, yeah these ones were actually not made from wood, they were made from stone weren't mm. they, um, really unusual looking, but they also have a cross on the top don't mm. they, so 
We surmise, not that we, we know for sure, but we imagine that it was a, a congruel place because there was 20, 20, mm -hmm. or 20, 20 or 30 of them there together for this village, maybe a, a sort of religious place that they would bless the food for maybe having a, a, a good harvest the following year. The views from there were absolutely oh, breathtaking and around, unreal. This so was great. on the way to Wild Swimming Spot that Jen had found, which that in itself was paradise. Fortunately, we didn't quite have it privately. There was a few people down there, but not many. And there was it was a, a hot day, wasn't it? Mm. It was in the afternoon. So when we got down there, there was already a couple down there. And then we were there for about maybe half an hour. And then there was more people sort of mm. coming. So we beat the traffic, so to speak, and beautiful turquoise water had a couple of rope swings, nice deep water that you could jump into and the river flowed down beautifully. The surrounding area had like vines with these purple flowers that were just covering everything, which was unreal. Yeah, that sold us on the, the National Park, obviously. Definitely our favourite place, wasn't it? We're, we're just like being around nature and we're not kind of big city kind of people, we're just mm. preferred. We like the option of going in the city, but the, the selling point for us is the, the nature and the National Park was unreal, like Jen said, we didn't see a lot of it, so there's so much more there to explore. We did actually pass through it in 2019, didn't we, when just, we came yeah, into Portugal, but true. we sort of brushed past that quite quick, and we'd like to get back up there with the prospect of doing some kayaking, there's the fishing, there's all sorts of activities that can be done up there. So yeah, the National Park, which right here, is one of our top picks for the north. I think that's sort of given us more of an idea of being up there on them travels where we are going to be looking for a potential future home. Yeah, up near Braga area, Barcelos, and not too far from that national park and in the proximity of the Lima and the rivers to the south, the Tamega and even the Douro not too far away. And <coughs> in the area hopefully not too far from Porto as well for visiting family or us return to the UK. So yeah, that is our rundown from our little northern trip as a follow on from some of the places that we have visited on the coast and a little bit further south, which I will link up here. Anything to add? <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. hope you got some tips. Trying to give our honest opinion of different places and hopefully get some tips for where you would like to go and house shop or even just visit for traveling. So thanks for watching as always and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>